beautiful weather and holiday mm -hmm. weekend are driving many people to the beach. A lot to like. Bridgeport officials expect hundreds to come out to Seaside Parks for a big fireworks display tonight. News 8's Sally Reed live in our Fairfield County newsroom at the Connecticut Post to let us know what measures Bridgeport officials are taking to keep everybody safe. Allie. Good evening, Keith and Sonia. There are many events going on around the city this weekend, and city officials want to make sure residents stay safe, so they're offering up some safety tips. Bridgeport officials expect the beaches and parks to be packed this weekend as Barnum Festival activities go on around the city. Fireworks tonight and a parade on Sunday. You can see there's a lot of activities going on. We want everybody to be safe this weekend, especially and all throughout the summer. He joined up with the city's police and fire chiefs to offer some safety tips for the weekend. The police department is going to be out in force this weekend. Uh, we will be conducting uh, DUI checkpoints, so we're asking folks not to drink and drive. And if you do need to drink, please use a designated driver. And if you're considering driving an ATV around town, well, think again. Dirt bikes and ATVs are illegal. They are not to be driven on any city street, sidewalk, or, or park. And uh, we, will, we will take possession of those dirt bikes and ATVs if we see them out there. The fireworks at Seaside Park will begin at sunset, but with the 4th of July approaching, the fire chief reminded residents that fireworks are illegal. And the only thing that's legal right now are sparklers, caps, and fountains. And those are ground fountains that have sparks shooting out. Nothing, no aerial devices and no explosions. Any, all those things are illegal. Bridgeport will not have fireworks on July 4th, but again, the fireworks tonight will be at Seaside Park, and they'll start around 845. Reporting live in the Fairfield County Newsroom at the Connecticut Post in Bridgeport, Allie Reed, News 8.